Water is the element of change. The people of the Water Tribe are capable of adapting to many things. They have a deep sense of community and love that holds them together through anything. Waterbenders are peace-loving people who prefer not to engage in violent conflict. But as both the northern and southern tribes demonstrate, they will fight if they must and shouldn't be taken too lightly, despite their seeming lack of technological innovation as compared to the Earth Kingdoms and the Fire Nation. They make good use of what they have. As evidenced by being called tribes, they look out for each other because they are family, direct or by extension. All waterbenders try to live in harmony with the natural world. The Foggy Swamp Tribe, for all its weirdness, is probably the most in tune with nature, as they can even use water to bend plants. And... You think you're any different from me, or your friends, or this tree? If you listen hard enough, you can hear every living thing breathing together. You can feel everything growing. We are all living together, even if most folks don't act like it. We all have the same roots, and we are all branches of the same tree. In general, the techniques of bending this element are based off Tai Chi, which is appropriate as the movements are meant to mimic flowing water, smooth, elegant, and controlled. We believe the Order of Friars Minor, a.k.a. the Franciscans, one of the most well-known Catholic religious orders, could be described as waterbenders. Their motto, Pax et Bonum, Peace and the Good, is a perfect representation of this. Their spirituality is actually fairly simple when you get right down to it. God is love. Jesus is God incarnate. Joyfully live the gospel in imitation of Christ with poverty, chastity, and obedience. Franciscans have been around for 800 plus years. They know how to adapt their ministries and evangelization efforts to changing times. Their founder, St. Francis of Assisi, was well known for finding joy and praising God by looking at his creation. The canticle of the sun, do we need to say any more? On to waterbending religious congregations. These are the experts in joy, hospitality, and caring for the poor. You will recall that some waterbenders, like Katara, have healing abilities. So also any congregations that have a reputation for caring for the sick fall into this category. We want to make special note of two. First is the Missionaries of Charity, Mother Teresa's sisters. And we're not just saying they're waterbenders because of the blue on their habits. Their motto is, I thirst. You don't thirst for fire or air or earth, but water, and specifically the living water. The Little Sisters of the Poor. They've made headlines in the U.S. recently, so you've probably heard of them. We're also putting them as waterbenders. This incredible congregation of women religious give the elderly a home, compassion, love, and they witness to the whole world the dignity of every human being. So, what other orders and congregations do you think are like the waterbenders from the world of Avatar The Last Airbender? Comment below. Next week is the Earthbending Religious Orders video. Stay tuned. And if you want to see more great videos that fuse your Catholic faith and your geekiness, then subscribe to Random Catholic Thoughts Geek. Don't forget to like, share, and suggest a topic. May the Lord be with you.